You know, I'm a manager at Home Depot. It sucks. <laughs> but we had, I had this rule set in where we have to be so cautious with our, with our money and our, with our currency at the chain stores that management and also asset protection is they're implementing new policies and procedures. And one of the policies is we have to lock, lock our money, which is like, okay, yeah, that's a no brainer. I mean, yes, we gotta lock our money, but when the cashiers are giving us the money to send up bookkeeping, we have to lock these tubes. Like you see at a drive through bank. You guys see any drive through banks lately? Are they going out of business? <laughs> Maybe they're Indy Mac. I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyhow, the proposed was they wanted to lock these tubes, and every time a cashier needed to send out money, we had to, as a line manager, go and unlock these tubes. As you can see, that causes a dilemma. We're wasting our time. We're wasting our valuable customer service. And the asset protection lady said, what do you think about this? And I told her, this is honestly the stupidest thing I've ever done. And I don't know where you come from thinking you can run your job. I tell you how to do my job. And all you do is sit in the back and stare at a camera. So I wish I said that. <laughs> but. I honestly told her that we'd be wasting our time and we wouldn't be able to focus on customers. And a majority of, one of the main principles at my store is customer service. So I got her to agree with me to where we don't have to keep all of them locked all the time. Only the pivotal ones that we use on a regular basis are unlocked. So you see kids, when you <laughs> argue with management, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.